Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy M O O D to the Z. Yeah, and I am back with another video for y'all. Another unboxing from my man Shiloh from Shy's Hip Hop Market. And uh, yeah, man, so he was having another sale, and I kind of jumped on the sale a little bit late. I was on holidays, and I saw him post on Instagram that he was having a sale. And I said, yo, man, I'll hit you up when I get back kind of thing. It was a little bit too late. I missed out on a lot of good stuff. Um, but I did get some goodies in here. I think everything in here was about $5 a piece that it worked out to. Actually, yeah, that's what the sale was. I think it was $5 for everything. So something on that, on those lines. But, uh, but yeah, so I actually sent him a list of like 28 albums. He only had 12 of them left. So... <laughs> So that's kind of uh, kind of a bummer because a couple actually there was one in there that I really wanted. That's why I wanted to make the order, but you know it happens. Whatever you snooze, you lose, right? So yeah, we'll cut this thing open. I forgot to cut it open before I started. Uh, what are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do? Let's see if I can. Man, this thing looks a little bit tight. All right, what do we got in here? Holy man! Holy man! All right, first up here, yes. I've actually never heard this album fully. I've heard a couple tracks off it before, and that's Pop the Brown Hornet, The Underground Emperor, uh, Wu-Tang Affiliate. Um, yeah, there's a remix on here for Follow Me Up, Molly Mall Remix, that's pretty dope. Um, yeah, that's cool, man. He's got a little bit of a punch in the back, but oh well. It is what it is, man. Pop the Brown Hornet. I think this came out in the early 2000s, I wanna say. I think it was like 2001 or something like that. But yeah. Pop the Brown Hornet. That's cool. Cuckoo. And then we got... Oh yeah, man. We got some more Roscoe. Uh, the Rebirth. The Rebirth? The Birth. This is, uh, I believe, from 90, 1999 this album came in. Uh, of course, one half of the Cali Agents. I absolutely love Roscoe, man. I think Roscoe's super underrated, man. This cat spit some fire, man. Real good shit. Um, I'm not sure if he's back making music, actually. I'd have to look into that, but uh, I know for a while there, I think he kind of hung it up. You know, he did a bunch of albums to about the later 2000s and then just kind of hung it up, but maybe Planet Asia can get him out of retirement. Um, actually, I think that the Cali Agents actually released a project this year that was older material. I'm not sure when that material was actually recorded, but hopefully it was more recent than it, than not, so... But yeah, the re or the birth. I keep going with the rebirth. Roscoe. Awesome. Sorry about the glare, guys. There's really nothing I can do about it. Uh, and then we've got Escape from Alcatraz from Roscoe. So there'll be no glare there. Yeah, Escape from Alcatraz. I've actually never heard this album from 2003. Um... Yeah, man. I, I actually don't really know what to expect from this. I know Roscoe's first record that he put out was on... Um, what the hell? What label was it on? I can't... Fuck, I can't remember. But anyways, that album was fucking dope, man. It was really, really dope. Um, yeah, this has got Casual on it. Planet Asia, of course. Charlie Tuna. It's got Rex on there. Yeah, dope shit, man. I'm looking forward to checking this out. So, it comes with a slip cover. Wow. Awesome. Some Roscoe. And then we got some... Oh, this is a promo. I see. Whatever. Not a big deal. Saffer's second album uh, from 1999. This is an album I've never heard either. I really like the Boxcar Sessions from Saffer. Um, or Sapphire, Saffer. I, I think it's Saffer, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, I always really like that, man. I know a lot of people always say it's kind of overrated and shit like that, but I think it's fucking dope, man. It's really gritty and, gr and grimy and shit. Um, yeah, this has got Chino XL on there. It's got some Jail Felony. It's got some cam. That's awesome, man. So he's, you know, he's repping the West there, like he should be. Promo is manic. Promo of Saffir album. That's crazy. Cool, cool, man. Awesome. But yeah. Filling in the holes, right? And then, yeah, man. So a few months back, maybe like about a year ago, I actually picked up the cassettes of this album off Shy. Um, actually, this is another one. This is one's actually punched, too. Maybe... Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. But I love this. I absolutely love this. I'm right in the vinyl bin. That's awesome. I'm reading the crate. Uh, Kid Capri, the tape, man. I absolutely love this album, man. It's fucking awesome, dude. Never heard the tape by Kid Capri. It's fucking rad, man. Really, really great album. 
On Cold Chillin'. One of my favorite labels of all time. Yeah. The tape. And then we got some DJ Crush. What else is this? This is, I can't, I can't even pronounce this one. Uh, Kakiyusi. Yeah, right. Japanese. DJ Crush. Beat tape from 1998-99. Uh, somewhere in there. I love DJ Crush's beats, man. Like, I'm a big fan of listening to beat tapes like this and shit. Like, not just... You know, not just like instrumentals, but like actual like abstract um, kind of beats, down tempo, whatever, whatever it may be. Uh, like the shit that's on in the backwards or in the background right now. I love when DJs are just cutting it up and shit. I love that stuff. But uh, yeah, I like to put the shit on when I'm making mixes and stuff. It goes real good. So DJ Crush. Actually, I know there's a bunch of DJ Crush in here. And this one is Zen. DJ Crush Zen, I believe, is from... I think this one's from the early 2000s, 2000, 2001, somewhere in there. I don't know if it says. Uh, but this one right here actually has a shitload of features on it. I've never actually heard this album. And the first track, or the second track, actually has Black Thought on it. That is amazing. So this one, it's got Quest Love on here. It's got Company Flow. Wow. That is dope. So I'm really looking forward to checking that out. So this is interesting. It looks like it's got actual lyrics and shit on it. So that's cool. And then we got DJ Crush Maiso. Uh, yeah, this is an older one from the mid-90s, 1995. Fucking awesome album, man. I love these beats on here. It's so dope. So if you're into beat tapes and shit, DJ Crush. Some awesome shit right there. Uh, what do we got up next here? Oh, yeah, man. This is an album. I, I don't know why I never picked this up back in the day. I remember seeing this around, too, when it came out in, what, 2006? And for some reason, I just never grabbed it, man. I guess I just wasn't peeping a lot of MC8 stuff out at the time. But this is the Brother Lynch Hung MC8 Clabo record, the new season. Um, I have heard this album. I actually have it downloaded. But I always wanted a physical because I love MC8. Brother Lynch Hung, I like his older stuff a lot better than his newer stuff. But uh, that's just me. Um, but yeah, how can you go wrong? That's some, that's some West Coast shit right there, man. Brother Lynch and MC8 fucking rights man i'm really really stoked for the new mc8 album i can't wait for it to drop and then we got another dj crush album and this is my light and i love i don't know what it is about this album cover it's like it's so basic and just i don't know it doesn't it doesn't look like it would be hip-hop at all uh wow man there's a track on here with fist of bundy that's amazing dj cams on here most deaf so we got some tracks with some uh, with some lyrics, which is awesome. Tragedies on here. Uh, Sean J. Period. Shit. Cool, man. There's fucking 28 tracks in here from 1997. So that's cool, man. Yeah, another one I haven't heard of. I've pretty much only heard DJ Crush's older stuff, like his first couple tapes. And then I just kind of... And Oh, I think there's two more in here. So yeah, like 12 of them. Oh, yeah. We got some, some Canadian shit right here. From that, I used to have this on tape. I don't know what happened to it. I really honestly don't know what happened to it. And that's Kish, Order from Chaos. Um, I actually like Kish's second album a lot better. This is the album with I Ride, Ride in the World in 80 Days. I actually like his second album a lot. It's like, I think it was released in 93. It's kind of like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's good, man. It's good. Uh, actually, I'll show it in one of these updates when he's over here. It's somewhere in this big ass fucking pile behind you can see. Um... But yeah, I run the world in 80 days. It's probably the most famous song that he's known for, really, which is actually one of my least favorite songs by him, to be honest. But but Kish, yeah, cool. White Cat from Canada from the early 90s. And last but not least, we got some 3-6 Mafia when the smoke clears. 66-61. Yeah, 3-6 Mafia, man. I don't know what it is, man, but I, I've been getting into 3 not. I always liked 3-6 Mafia, I just never bought the records, but I've actually bought quite a few. There'll be lots in this update over here. Um, yeah, um, over the last like year or two, man, I've actually, well, probably like the last three years, I actually started picking some albums up. Uh, this album is actually quite famous for sipping on some syrup, but there's some fucking bangers on here, man. It's good shit, man. So, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to revisiting this record. So... Yeah, three six mafia. It's kind of an oddball one at the end. Like it really doesn't fit the rest of the mold here, but <laughs> so yeah, three six mafia here. We'll kind of we'll rip through these again here. We got some pop the brown hornet. That's fucking cool, man. Always wanted to check. 
the shit out, man. In full. I think that I, I've heard people say this album's actually pretty good. I know Pop put out an album last year, and it was trash bags, man. Fucking trash bags. Oh, it was bad. Uh, Roscoe, The Birth. Yeah. And then we got some Roscoe, Escape from Alcatraz, which... I've actually been to Alcatraz before. Alcatraz is kind of freaky, man. It's fucking cool, though, man. It's just rich in history and shit. It's cool, but... I tell you, man, San Francisco, not very not very warm. It's fucking cold there, man. And I'm from Canada. That shit's cold. Uh, Saffir. Um, what the fuck is this? Yeah, The Hit List. I've never heard this album, so I don't know what to expect from this, but I'm looking forward to the features on here anyway, so that's kind of cool. Then we got King, the King Capri. The tape. Gotta love it, man. DJ Crush. Uh, I don't know how to say that, but yeah. I don't even want to attempt it. It's Japanese. DJ Crush Zen. It's on Columbia. Fuck. DJ Crush Zen and Miso. DJ Crush. We got some Brother Lynch Hung and MC8. The new season. Fuck yeah. I like that. I actually really like the, the collabo albums that MC8 did with uh, Spice One also. Even though they were kind of like at that time period where they weren't really making the greatest music. I still kind of like them. Because they're two of my favorite West Coast gangster artists. And then we got My Light by DJ Crush. And then last, and probably least, <laughs> Kish. <laughs> Order from Chaos. Yes. So, that's a, that's pretty cool, man. Twelve, you know, five bucks a piece. I'm like, shit, man, whatever. Some of these actually go for a little bit more, so I'm pretty happy with this. For what it is, but yeah, I like doing these unboxings so I don't have to put them into, into this pile over here. Because it's just gotten ridiculous, but I am going to start pumping these out right away because I'm back in the video making mode. So, yeah, we're going to do that shit. So, anyways, thank you once again, Shiloh, for sending me, you know, or having the sale and, you know, being so awesome to me, man. You're, you're awesome, dude. So, um, but yeah, I'll check you guys in the next video. Deuces!